Hey guys, Viper here, and we are back. Let me just move my mic a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we are back with the Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt DLC. And before I said these are like skags on, uh, not skags, uh, what do you call them? Stalkers on steroids. Because they look like him, but look like they took steroids. So, our destination is to find a giant Scalion somewhere over here, I guess. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a Corrosive Spore. I'm not going to mess with that. So... Are they worth my time? Are they gonna give me trouble or can I just pass them? Oh, I'll just pass them. Guess not. You just had to spot me, didn't you? I disappear. Y'all just had to spot me. Combat. Preparing to strike. Oh, is that it? One more? This is why I like zero. You can just easily easily use deception and just get out of a certain situation. Now wait a minute. I guess I'll go here later if they're telling me to come on. Let me check the map. Exit to okay. Oh, it's a map exit, okay. So we're gonna have to go over here. And I see something blue over there. Oh, this must be another quest item. I might as well pick it up. This is a side quest item that I was just gonna stick to the main mission now, but I'll just pick it up, might as well. Might as well pick this one up too. Can I pick it up? I'm not gonna fight these guys. I'm just gonna use deception and get out of here. Even though I can easily take them, but they're not really worth the time. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a uh, safe station. Not safe station, but yeah. And one thing I noticed about this game is like, like if you die a lot, you you lose a lot of money. I mean, it kind of gives that's the urge that you don't want to um, die because you you lose a lot of money, especially on True Ball Hunter mode, which one is not really important to me in this game, but you know you lose a lot of it, a lot of money when you die. So uh, where are we now? Wait, is this the main mission? Let me just make sure we're on the main mission here. And yeah, it's main mission. All right, let's get it right over here. This is spooky right here. Wow. Wow, wow, dude, this is amazing. Wow, what is that? Must That must be a side quest or something else, I guess. So it's saying I'm not supposed to go over here. This must be another mission or something. So I guess we just head over here then. So I remember in Pirates uh, Booty DLC, the main problem was uh, always going to the same areas over and over again. Like the side missions would be there, the main mission would be there, and it, it, would, it would get kind of repetitive. So, But I did like the loot system. The uh, loot in Pirates Booty DLC, after you, after you defeat the... Uh, I forgot what it's called. The... Um, Leviathan, once you defeat him, that loot treasure room is amazing. And it gives you a, uh, you can do it over again, like two times. But the third time, he wouldn't let me do it again for some reason. Like, I couldn't, he wouldn't spawn, so. But the badass, wait, wait, wait. I messed up somewhere. I was supposed to, oh, I was supposed to take a bolt. Okay, let me go over here and get a bolt right quick. Now, badass, crater badass 2, that DLC, I'm not gonna lie, did not really, whoa. Yeah, if I died, I would probably got ran over. Now, how am I gonna do this here? Well, that's one way. Cause basically, getting run over is like a instant death. No matter how high your shields and health are, you just I don't want to start any trouble here. Uh, pretty sure there's gonna be some enemies spawning in a minute, so let me just try to get this out of the way quick. Uh, okay. Let me see, said they got some here. Like the, uh, when you. Hold on. Nope, I'll take the electric. Like, that was one of the problems on that Crater of Bad Attitude was that the. Was that the loot at the very end, like, once you defeat that giant T Rex, um, whatever, Piston, the guy. The loot is quite horrible. I mean, ah, there it is. 
A Scalia. Well armored and incredibly deadly. Watch its tail, Vault Hunter. Kill Thermotage. I just really wish they would have put better loot in that one. But now the vending machines have some, uh, I think it's called torque tokens where, yeah. Alright, let's go in here. So I'm so used to playing as my siren because I'm trying to level my siren up to level 50. And so I'm so used to playing as her that I kind of forget, forget how to play as an assassin again. As you guys can see, this is just a little also my gear I'm using too. I, I have the B shield, but I don't use the B shield too much because it's low, like 28,000. And right now I'm using the uh, High of Terra Morphus, which is 51,000. And the, the only time I use the B is when I'm farming bosses, like the Warrior, where I just want to get him down quick. I just use the B shield. Because if you use the B shield, get ready, you're going to go down a lot because it's so low. And and the, and the thing about it is, you only it only does amp damage when it's full charge. So. And the gun I'm using right now is the uh, Imperior, which is pretty amazing. Stopping Imperior. What is this all? You know, I do miss playing as Maya because, you know, Maya, I felt like I had so much control. I mean, just I can just instantly phase off an enemy and just go to town on them. But, you know, with Zero, I mean, yeah, you have Deception, but it just it doesn't feel as much as... Uh, um, get, am I supposed to jump down there? Is there going to be like those intros with the bosses? I guess so. He'll come out. Thermitage, come out and play. Okay, what is this? Class 1, nope, don't need that. So I guess I just kill these guys until it comes out, until Mother gets mad. Until Mommy's mad. There you are, there you are. Is that you? Nope. What is this? Oh. Disease Scalion. Whoa, they can flip like that? Deception out here. Yeah, guys, and the reason why my attacks are doing this much damage because I completely. Is that her? Nope. I completely like leveled out my uh, bloodshed um, skill tree, which is all about meleeing. And uh, now, wait, what? Wow. Where are they supposed to spawn? Where are they? I don't see her. Where is she? Probably up here. Probably taking a little nap. Oh, there's not a glitch. No, wait, it shouldn't be a glitch. Let me see if she's over here. What is this? Oh, it must be like the new loot chest or something. Nope, crap. Yeah, she should have, he or she should have spawned right here. Let me see. That's strange. Unless I killed them already. Hello. Hello. Where are you? Maybe. Because it's right here. It should have. Maybe is it up here? Do I have to go up there somehow? Let me see. Yeah, I think. Yeah, okay, I know. I think. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to make my way up back up here. It's probably above me. No, because the uh, 
the arrow would show up. Nah, I'll just go this way. Hold on. If it's not hitting, I'll just stop the video and see if it works or not. Pretty sure I gotta make a yeah. Pretty sure I gotta make a loop around. Yeah, I'll just make a I'll just make a loop around it. No big deal. Yeah, this is the way. So did I go this way first? Yeah, I've already been through here, so I don't know what's going on. Hold on. I don't think it's a glitch. I think maybe I just I didn't kill them right or something. Oh. Come on, spawn. Yeah. I mean, I can hear something like a little growl, but I don't know where. I don't see it. Unless. I don't know what's wrong. Is it over here somewhere? Because I checked all around. Alright, guys, I'll stop the video here and hopefully. I'll probably restart this uh, mission. See if it. Probably save and quit and see if he spawns and then. Yeah, I'll probably record after I kill him. So, alright, guys, this is Viper. Please subscribe, like the video, and yeah, peace out.